doesn't. You know, if I if I decided I wanted to stay here, I probably would have closed on the house early on. So in Chris's case, he likes the house, but says the location isn't going to work after all. I'm actually looking for something closer to work, so he's out actively looking for another house for me now. So it's that easy. It's a nationwide program. Only certain realtors, though, are registered with this group, Haley. And Ray, are there any hidden costs? Well, Chris said there's no fee, but the rent is a little more than your traditional rent, okay? And there's always something to it, I guess, if you go a different route. All right, thank you, Ray. The resignation of Paul Blackheader as head of the organization that runs Nathan Benderson Park came as a surprise to many, including a former Sanka employee. Blackheader, Sanka's president and CEO, announced yesterday that he is resigning to pursue a career in consulting. Former volunteer coordinator John Krotek is quick to point out that although Blackheader is resigning, the World Rowing Championships will go on at the park without a hitch. He also says Blackheader leaving will not have a negative effect on private fundraising efforts. So I know that it's been there's been a lot of controversy with that and naturally so whenever you're dealing with the amount of money that, that needs to come in to complete the park. But I do believe that you've got some competent people there that can that can make it happen. Sanka's board president says the $5 million finish tower is now funded and construction is underway. It's scheduled to be complete by this November.